Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review and today we're going to be revisiting the Castro Food Slaughterhouse mod. This was unavailable for quite a while. The uh, Where I reviewed it before the link is broken. Disappointed they couldn't get their hands on it but somebody has re-uploaded it, a Russian version but trust me it works the exact same as the old one and this link actually works. All the people that were looking for this mod can get it plus I can introduce it to uh, new players that don't know about this. So once again this is the Castro Food Slaughterhouse Russian version 1.0. This is a four piece mod pack with an error free log. File size for this is 78.85 megabytes. When you download this it's going to be a rare file. You're going to have to open up that rare file and take out the four zip files that are inside and then put them in your mods folder. So I'm going to discuss a few things regarding this mod pack. We'll go over to the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I will set this up and show you just how it works. So let's get started. Okay, we'll start on over here with the butchery. Price of the butchery is $250,000 in the shop with a $125 a day maintenance fee. Now you can put all three animals in here, pigs, sheep, or cows. But the only thing is this mod pack does not come with a cow holding pen. You only get one for the sheep and one for the pigs. You don't get one for the cows, unfortunately. But yeah, you input those three animals and you output meat and sausage, which you can pick up at these two loading bay doors. So just quickly, I'll show you how this operates. You're going to back up your trailer here, drop off your animals once you pick them up. Then they're going to be processed. This is your sausage pickup, although even knowing that's in uh, German there. And this is your pickup for your regular meat and the price is going to vary so yeah basically for your sausage you're going to get 4350 per thousand liters and 5107 dollars per thousand liters so good selling price next we're going to take a look at the holding pens here this is the pig and sheep animal camps the price for these are thirty thousand dollars each with a 45 dollar a day maintenance fee now i'm not sure the max that these can hold there is the sheep one over there and there is the pig one. These are placeables. You can put these wherever you want. I just happen to put them really close so I don't have to travel too far. And for the butchery itself, you're going to need a big flat piece of land. Okay, we'll start with the smaller animal transport here. You can haul this around with a tractor. This is the Joskin Betamax animal trailer for the tractor. Price in the shop is $24,000 with a $10 a day maintenance fee. This has a capacity of six cows or nine pigs or ten sheep you can put in here. This is the LS540 animal transport trailer for semis. Price in the shop is $98,000 with a $25 a day maintenance fee. Now I didn't test this with the cows but it holds 38 pigs and 48 sheep. Okay next up we have the Schmidt's Cool Liner trailer. This is a refrigerated unit for transporting your sausage and meat. And the price in the shop is $78,000 with a $40 a day maintenance fee. It has a capacity of 32,000 liters of meat you can haul with this. Then lastly, we got our sales trigger. I just sell, set that up right there. It's only a dollar for that, and you can sell your meat and your sausage right there. Okay, so we'll go over to the shop. Everything's going to be located under Cash of Foods. So they got their own little section there, and there is everything we looked at. Like I said, there's not a pen for the shop for the uh, cows but it does accept them in the uh, butchery itself so let's get a couple things set up here and we'll test it on out okay I'm just gonna take over my Josk and I'm gonna uh, drop off a few cows since I have them here I just want to show you that this will work so remember just back them up to the ramp there you don't have to drive right up to the door just get the back end of it up against the ramp and there you go Away they go. So they're being processed right now. Processing time is really quick. I don't know exactly how long, but it's super, super fast. So let's move this guy out of the way, and we will go grab some more animals. Okay, we have our bigger animal transport up here by the uh, place where you buy the animals. Let's see how many cows we can get, since I didn't check it the first time. It holds 38 cows. So it holds 38 cows, 38 pigs, or 48 sheep this trailer so yes I don't want the cows right now I want the pigs because I want to show you how the pens work confirm okay dropping off our pigs And 
and out they go. Let's go get some sheep. Okay. 48 sheep. Let's drop them off. go so yeah I'm not too sure exactly uh, how much they hold but they do hold quite a bit it's funny it only shows a few pigs there but there's actually quite a few so let's fill this up and we'll bring them over to the butchery 38 100% full Okay, let's grab some sheep. Forty eight sheep. Is this full? Okay, there we go. So you've seen that you can drop off any of the three types of animals. So now we'll go watch the processing time and hook up to our cool liner here. If I'm ready to pick up the meat. Go to the uh, meat, the meat one first. So remember, the meat one's at the end, and the sausage one is the one right beside. Okay, so let's see if anything's processed yet. Yeah, a little bit. So I'm going to speed up time. Watch the clock, there, guys. You get a, you get an idea how fast this is. I'm not sure if that's done. Oh, that's probably done. Yeah. Okay. So 50% and 27%. Let's slow down time again so it doesn't get dark on us. Let's pick up some meat. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta pull away from the door. I see you filling up there. Full load, 32,000. Let's go see what we get for that full trailer of meat. Open up the back so you can see inside there. I do believe the, yeah, the end key opens it up. Okay, watch the money. 163454 dollars. Very nice. So let's go try the sausage now. Not quite a full load, but close enough. 6% full. Looks like a full load. $120,081. That was a nice payoff. And like I said, that wasn't even a full trailer. So, very nice. So there you have it, guys. Finally got my hands on it again. 
That was the Castro Food Russian version 1.0. This is a four piece pack. Don't forget you have to open up the rare file, take out the four zip files inside, put them in your folder. File size for this is 68.85 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to the channel. It really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.